I've got great admiration and respect for uh, both the boys and um, and the way they do business and the people they have doing business for them. I don't know whether we could have done what we've actually been able to do over the last 10 years in particular without the outstanding support and the enthusiasm of that organisation and their staff. So as they've employed people in, you know, in the north for example, um, it gives, it's an advantage for us because it gives us a wider berth to draw on if we're buying stock, you know, or selling stock. So yeah, we've really taken advantage of their growth in their business, within our business. Just enjoyed the opportunities that Spent Sticks have been able to provide us with stock coming up from the South East. Yeah, it's just gave us that opportunity to get, to get lambs and breeding used to come up and uh, provided something that, that not many others could. I'm 100% sure that they're doing 100% Good job for us. Yeah, you know that's that's what it comes down to. So. I first encountered John O at the Adelaide Showgrounds when he was strutting around the show ring like a little bantam rooster, leading his uh, Hollywood Herefords around. And I watched him and I thought, I reckon this young bloke here thinks that the judge is more interested in me than the bull I'm leading around. I've actually known Jono Spence since he was that high because he, uh, his mum and my mum are the best of mates. But he was terrible as a kid. I think, I think he's improving, um, but he's got a long way to go. There's a lot of potential there for him to grow. And I think, I think he and Rod are a good pair because Rod sort of brings out the potential that he's got. And uh, if he keeps working at it, things could be all right. I was sitting inside having lunch when I saw two blokes walking up the path of our house. See, Jono came in and he was only halfway in the door, probably 65 kilos ringing wet. And he put his hand out and said, Hi, my name's Jono Spence. We've just been for a drive down your yard and seen the cattle you've got on feed in a pen down there. Gee, they look nice. Um, what I admire about Jono is he's a lad that started from uh, very humble beginnings, you know, no rural upbringing whatsoever. Educated in the western suburbs, where he spent three of the happiest years of his life in year 10 there. And he has since gone on to forge a, a fantastic career as a very, very good cattleman in all aspects of the industry, you know, auctioneering, uh, judging, feeding and showing, and most importantly, marketing and the, and the business side of the cattle industry. We've been with them for 10 years. Mark O'Leary swaggered into Meningi Town and um, called out to see if Spence Dixon Co could offer their services to our business and we're grateful that he did because it's been a great working relationship for the last 10 years. Uh, Mark's a good fellow, I have to push him along a little bit sometimes. Uh, he's uh, probably a little conservative sometimes for how I like to trade but um, he does a really good job and he's a uh, He's, he's probably been a good steadying stone for me. Uh, I like to push a little bit and um, no, he's been, he's been really good. Before we all had children, um, we would hit the football club at Meningi pretty hard on Saturday nights. And so Nigel and I would stay with Mark and Laura on Saturday nights. But my favourite parts would be the Sunday morning when Mark would come out in his jocks and, you know, doing the morning scratch, getting us a cup of tea and, <laughs> and getting here and cooking us eggs and bacon. It's always good to see Mark that way. We have the advantage of having a, a friendship as well as a working relationship. So he's very professional and uh, is a very hard worker, but he also will enjoy beer at the end of the day with us as well, which is important in a small community. Oh, Luke's a, he's a top bloke. He's very energetic. Yeah, works hard and I never know, know, some people ask me, you know, where am I stock? Where do I sell my stock? And I say, well, I don't know, wherever Luke finds a home for him because it can be somewhere different each time. Well, quite often after we've had a hard day in the yards, Dixie and I um, need to uh, rehydrate and we do that down here at the Wiluka Tavern. 
that's fine until we stay here too long and we get the Captain Morgan out and uh, then we're dehydrated in the morning. We start again. Roddy doesn't say much, but what he does say is generally worth listening to, except if it involves Captain Morgan rum, racehorses and the casino. Well, I just wish they'd concentrate a bit more on their business. Dixie's mad keen on his horses and um, he gets everyone involved. You can't get any work done. David's always up worrying about the damn uh, racehorse and Dixie wants to buy another one. I mean, it's, it's unreal how. They must be doing wonderfully well to, um, to have the interest in horses that they've got. But what I really like about Rod, in all seriousness, uh, and, and John Obert, um, they're always there to help when you need help. Their, their service is fantastic. Both John Owen and Dixie are fantastic uh, people. You know, I know they, they they put in the hard yards for me, and and uh, and vice versa. Uh, if I'm in trouble, I know they'll be there to help. Now, old Daniel came out. We met him as a, a young fella who was uh, coming out to shear. Always remember him rocking up, starting to shear with a headband on, um, and we're sort of thinking, right, oh, where's this kid coming from? Found out pretty quickly he could shear knew a lot about stock and just developed, started from mates and uh, developed into a, a real good stock agent that just keeps providing opportunities for me. Daniel's been uh, very good to me, not only in the business um, side of things, um, but uh, after the Pinery fire he was there um, uh, straight away um, offering help in many ways. Spence and Dix offered financial help and and Daniel Daniel was there in a couple of days with furniture, fridge and and things that we needed initially. There was a few weeks after they organised teams to uh, to come up to help and uh, when we saw them that night my wife just burst into tears when she saw them they were black from head to toe they'd been there working it's friendships for sure i want to acknowledge the girls in the office for the terrific job they do and in particular i really wanted to thank pat and Kano for the uh, the work they do in our business and making life so much easier for us just that the ability to get the personalised um, relationship. Um, not only do you know the stocky that deals with you every day, but very easy to speak to um, Jono or Dixie um, about things over the, over the journey as well. So um, what I do enjoy is the backup that all of those guys through the company have got, um, obviously through Joe Scammell, um, Daniel Doki and Griff up in the mid-north area. Um, they're all happy to help out. You just don't feel like you get left when someone's on holidays or anything. Plenty of help um, all the way through. <laughs> Sorry, I was just wondering whether to say them. Funny stories, I, I can't put them in because I'll be dumping myself in. Sorry. <laughs> I do. I don't know how many are appropriate for, <laughs> for this. Yeah, I've got, got numerous stories, I just don't know whether I can say them. That's, that's the, uh, that's the uh, problem. But, uh, no. Oh, no, nothing other than uh, the, the usual sort of um, long trips home from bull sales and um, uh, having to, to work out a way to get home um, and, and then having to cover probably for each of us against our wives, so uh, that's probably, uh, probably the standard. G'day Laura. <laughs> Lots of funny stories. Uh, none I can repeat now. No, I probably couldn't, uh, I probably couldn't bring you into light there, no. What happens on the footy trip stays on the footy trip, and uh, you know. The, the old golden rule of life, the 80-20 rule, and I reckon that's why they get on so well together, because they've got that 80-20 rule right, 80% listening and 20% talking. Now Rodney does the 80% listening and 20% talking, Actually, it's probably not even 20 to be honest. <laughs> and uh, Jono, he's the opposite. He's got the 80% uh, talking and 20% listening. And if it's truth be known, it's probably less than that as well. So uh, they've got the balance perfectly well set up. 
Having said that, if you walk in that office, that 80-20 rule is completely at the window there. Even I can't get a word in there, so uh, it is an amazing place to be in and, uh, and I know that those boys value and treasure that the contribution that those girls make. Advice for the future. Mm. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep the personalised support up um, and just make it make it enjoyable for everybody all the time. Less racehorses, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a fast one would be good. It's not just all about work uh, and horses, Dixie. Keep regenerating, um, employ good staff, push hard, and, and make sure you take time out to, um, to, to smell the roses. Keep up the good work. And make this next 10 years just absolute rippers. Because if you can do that, uh, at the end of that time, you'll be set up, to, hopefully, to be able to do anything you wish to do. Thanks uh, very much to Spend Sticks & Co. It's been a really good working relationship over the last 10 years. Uh, it's really nice working with good people and um, happy birthday and uh, look forward to another 10 years. It'll be good. It's been a great 10 years uh, with them and I wish them you know, all the best for the next 10 and hopefully a lot more than that. Uh, on behalf of the Lions family, we'd like to congratulate Jono and Rodney on 10 successful years and a special mention to the girls in the office. Uh, it's been a pleasure since we've started doing business with you and we hope for another fruitful 10 and beyond. In all seriousness, um, uh, Jono and, and Dixie, uh, happy birthday, 10 years is a fantastic achievement. Yeah, to uh, the Spent Sticks & Co, wishing you a very happy 10 years. All you boys finally got there, it's great. Uh, wishing you all the best for the future and um, many more times ahead. Yeah, to Jono and, and Rodney, uh, I would certainly like to uh, take this uh, moment to congratulate you on uh, what your achievements have been within the company that you have grown. Congratulations Rodney and Jono and the rest of your team on 10 great years. It's been a um, pleasure working with you. On behalf of everyone at Carwin Nominees, we congratulate them on their uh, 10 years of business and um, it's been a pleasure to have them as key p people in our business. Happy 10th anniversary and I'm looking forward to the, to the next 10 years of, uh, of business for sure. Happy birthday everyone at Spence Dicks, 10 years. It's an amazing effort what you've achieved in the last 10 years. Special shout out to Trish. You've been my husband's second wife for the last 10 years and thank God you have because I couldn't have done it without you. Happy birthday guys, really proud of your effort. Just from uh, all the boys up on um, the Nearer Prime Lair, um, we'd certainly like to wish you guys all the best for your 10 years in business or your 10th anniversary. Um, yeah, right the way through from Dean, my dad, Tyson, my brother and myself and our, our extended families. Certainly thanks for all your help um, in enabling us to set up a business which, which we believe is heading the right direction. So, thank you. To you, uh, Rod and uh, John O, um, on behalf of Liz and I uh, and the Gilbertson family, um, thank you very much for your wonderful support over the last um, 10 years or, or, or so and we look forward to working with you for the foreseeable future. Happy anniversary. And finally, I just would like to uh, congratulate Rodney and Jono and their families and their boys, Mark and Luke, who were there at the start and the other boys that have come along the journey along the way and just say congratulations on what you've achieved in this 10 year period. It's been absolutely remarkable and uh, I'm sure everyone here tonight would uh, join with me in saying congratulations boys. Well done and congratulations and thank you for uh, the business, the success you brought to our business. Cheers.